All right, hey everybody, this is Professor Klein back in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And today I want to bring you a video on the shoulder ligaments. And if I took this model and I brought it up to the actual skeleton, you'd be looking at over here the shoulder ligament. So you got the humerus in here, you got this clavicle up here, and then from a posterior side, you can see the scapula as the third bone that's gonna make up this shoulder area. But let's go back to the model. And here's what we can see on the model. If we flip it around to an anterior view, we can see first off the corico a chromial ligament. That means you're going from the coracoid process all the way up to the acromion over here. Now you'll also see there's another one coming straight across. That's the acromioclavicular, acromioclavicular ligament here. And the third one is the coracoclavicular, coracoclavicular. But that one actually has two different sections to it. I'm going to show you the two different sections right here. As we can see the trapezoid and conoid divisions. What's that look like if we jump up to the skeleton? Well, you can see with the tape, the corico acromial in orange, the acromioclavicular in red, and coracoclavicular. The blue would be the trapezoid and the conoid would be the yellow. Back to here though, you can see that we've got more. We've got the glenohumeral ligaments surrounding all the way up and around the head of the humerus holding the head of the humerus close to the scapula. Last one to mention is the coracohumoral. Here it is, coracohumoral coming across the top from the coracoid over to the humerus. And that has been your video on the shoulder ligaments. Thanks for watching.